Welcome to Plan Hub's Master Class Courses for Takeoff and Estimation. My name is Jessica, and in this video, you'll learn how to use the takeoff and estimation tools to complete an estimate on a drywall trade. Knowing how to set yourself up for successful and efficient takeoffs and estimates will save you time and money so you can bid on more projects and grow your company. For a full takeoff and estimate, your first step is to obtain any pertinent details. For this training, I have found a project, reviewed the plans, and sent them into the takeoff tool using the file viewer. Finally, I have renamed the pages with the information that I might need. Please watch the takeoff getting started videos if you would like to learn more about this process. For a full drywall takeoff and estimate, your first step once you have reviewed your documents is to obtain any pertinent details, such as the type of drywall and the height of walls you are installing drywall on. Now let's get some measurements. I need to measure all my wall areas and identify the amount of drywall needed. Using the wall area tool, I can define the height of the wall and the size of the drywall sheets that I plan to install. In the layers, for exterior walls, I'll enter one layer. For my measurement name, I'll name it something that helps me identify what I'm measuring for. Now I'll begin measuring. We will start by measuring these exterior walls. Left click to drop your first point. Move your mouse to the corner that you wish to measure next and left click to drop the next point. Continue this throughout the space that you wish to measure. Left clicking to trace out and change directions. Once you meet the end of your measurement, left click and hit enter twice rapidly on your keyboard. To the right of your main area, you'll see the measurements panel. In the measurements panel, you can expand the information to see the total linear feet and the count of drywall. Because my interior walls will require two layers of drywall, I'll do a separate wall area measurement. I'll name my measurement, identify the height of my walls, identify the size of drywall I wish to use, and the number of layers I plan to install. Again, left click to start your measurement and left click on any corners. If it is a straight line, once you have made your second left click, hit enter twice on your keyboard. To continue this measurement, turn the measurement tool on in the panel to the left and continue clicking to create your measurements. Tracing the walls that you plan to install. If you make a selection that you are not happy with, you can hit the escape key on your keyboard. This will take you back to the previous point you created. Continuing to click the escape key will continue to take you back to the previous point. Once you have done your first measurement, hitting enter once on your keyboard will keep the tool engaged, but complete the current run. Once you've completed the measurements for all of your walls, your values will populate over to the right. If you've not purchased the estimate tool, you can finish measuring your interior walls, add any notes that you wish to add using the text tool, download the PNG, and export your measurement in the project measurements page. If you've purchased the project estimates, our next step is to utilize the assemblies. An assembly is a grouping of cost items with formulas to help you calculate the amount of a particular item needed in order to complete a job. Click on the assemblies to access to your current assemblies.
For this example, we'll create a new assembly. First, we'll name our assembly. Next, we'll select the tool we plan to utilize when putting this assembly to use with our project estimates. We use the wall area tool, so we'll select wall. Next, we'll identify the item types. These will be materials. Next, we'll begin finding our line items. We'll start with screws. Next, we'll find our drywall. If you don't find it under one term, try another. Select the item and add it to your assembly. Next, we'll find our tape. and our joint compound. I'm going to go through and edit each of these line items to align with how I want them to reflect. I'll show you how I do the first one, and then we'll move on to the formulas. To edit a line item, click the option to edit. The description and all information in here is fully editable, and you can adjust those to reflect what you want to see. I'll enter in a percentage to account for the waste, a cost to account for the cost of a box of screws, my local tax rate, identify my item type, and my unit of measure. This should be reflective of the information that you want to know as a result of sending a measurement to an assembly. For example, do you want to know the exact number of screws needed or how many boxes you will need to purchase? We're going to select boxes. Then I will save my line item information and I will add my formula. Select the formula button. Now each 12 by 4 sheet of drywall requires 64 screws. When I do a measurement for the drywall, the system will identify how many sheets of drywall I need. I need to multiply the sheets of drywall required by 64. Once I know my grand total of all the screws needed, I'll need to divide that by 1000 to account for how many boxes needed. I will name my formula. Now I don't purchase partial boxes, so I do want to round up. Then I'll go ahead and click Save. This will be added to my formulas to be able to utilize in the future, and then I'll click to apply to the cost item. Now I'll go ahead and edit these line items to reflect the way I want them to reflect. I have edited each of my line items to reflect the description I would like it to display, my expected waste, my cost per unit, my item type, my local tax, and how I purchase these. Now let's start on the drywall formula. This one is the most straightforward as the takeoff tools identify this information for us. We'll go ahead and click the formula icon. Because this is a one-to-one, -one, meaning we will need as much drywall as the tool has identified, we will go ahead in the formula box and click count. In the formula name, we will enter the name, and then we will make sure that we round up our results and click Save, and apply this to our cost item. For the joint tape, each sheet of drywall will require 16 linear feet to cover. We'll click on our formula option, and in our formula, we will take the count of drywall, multiply that by 16, this will tell us the total linear feet of joint tape required for the project. 
Then we'll take that total and divide it by the length of the rolls that we purchase. For joint compound, a 4.5 gallon tub covers about 1,000 square feet of wall surface area. For our formula, we'll take the total area of the wall, divide that by 1,000 for the 1,000 square feet of coverage for a single layer of drywall. If we are working on a double layer of drywall, we would take the total area multiply that by two and then divide that by a thousand to account for both sides of the wall. At this point, I'm ready to add this assembly to my takeoff library and save my work. Now let's put this assembly to use. Navigate back to your takeoff Identify the measurement you wish to send. Expand the details. Right click on the measurement. Click Send to Assembly. Find the assembly you just created. Select the estimate you'd like it to go to. And click Add. Having the details on the right expanded, helps us identify the variables that we need to enter for the formulas we created. Each of these formulas we created have the variable of count, and that count is dependent on the count of drywall. Enter that value in. If you have a variable that includes a separate count, turn this toggle off and you can make changes to just one field. Then insert your values. The confirmation in the upper right hand corner will have a hyperlink. Click on that and it will take you into the assembly. To expand your assembly and your estimate, click the arrow pointing down. Here we can see the breakdown of our unit costs, our quantities, and our expected waste. Now I want to add some overhead and profit. To add the overhead and profit all line items in the project assemblies, click the gear icon for the overhead and profit at the upper section of the page. Enter your percentage in and click apply. Now I want to add a line item for my labor. Click add cost item or utilize your cost items you've created in your cost item library. Fill in all the fields that apply. Once you're happy with your line items, click Export, select which project estimate pages you wish to send to an Excel sheet, and then click Export. Confirm the download, and you now have this available in an Excel sheet with a full breakdown of the basic project information, your estimate, and your bill of materials. We have completed our estimate for drywall. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you log into your Plan Hub account and go and make your own estimate and assemblies. Please reach out to us if you have questions.